But the death card is also about transformation. So this whole thing that happened here did not happen for no reason, okay? It might have hurt, it might be painful, it might not be what you want, but it's not all for naught, okay? There is purpose behind this transformative event, situation, circumstance in your life. There is purpose in this. Hey, Gemini, it's Dana, Deep Thoughts with Dana. How you doing? Everybody doing well? I hope everybody's doing really well. This is going to be a general reading for you. I promised it to you guys a long time ago, but I'm delivering. And there is divine timing in everything, right? There's divine timing in everything. So now, now and only now is the time for my Gemini reading. Okay, so buckle up, sit back, get you something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Put your feet up, curl up, and let's jump into some deep thoughts about your life through the tarot cards. Okay, all right, Gemini. All right, I've been stewing on y'all for a minute. I have. I've been stewing on y'all for a minute. So I really feel... Like there's going to be something special here. Let's see what it is. So if you're new to the channel, I'm Dana. This is Deep Thoughts with Dana. And we um, we uh, talk about tarot here. It's, it's tarot for intelligent minds, right? Because most of the people who watch my channel, uh, most of my subscribers understand that this is general. It's just general. It's the overall blanket that is covering the planetary placement of Gemini at the moment. And the blanket touches everybody in a different way. Therefore, the theme of this reading is the blanket. How it is in your life is your own personal story. And you can never know what your true journey is unless you have your own cards read. Okay? So, deep thoughts with Dana. Tarot for intelligent minds. We are going, we are, we are, we're, we're <laughs> We are going to throw down for Gemini. We're going to throw down for Gemini. You ready? All right. Y'all saw me do the third grade swirl and all that good stuff, right? These cards are primed and ready to go. The way it's going to work is that I'm going to shuffle. I'll pray. I'll lay out at least 15 cards. We'll talk about them as I clarify them. And I will sew together a story. I may or may not have to leave a timestamp so you can skip all the channeling and the chit chat because I kind of, I kind of shoot the shit a little bit with my, with my subs while I'm getting ready to read their cards. Okay. If you want to skip all that, there'll be a timestamp. Sometimes the readings work out though, where I just lay the cards out and when I clarify it all, it all comes together real easy. So just depends if there is, if you have to skip or not. Okay. Um, um, if you like what you see here um, and you want to hear more of it, you better ought to click the dinghy bell because I'm not here very often and we might not ever see each other again. Okay. So that being said, let's throw down for Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Spirit, what? What is coming towards Gemini? What is coming towards Gemini? Spirit, what does Gemini need to know? What does Gemini need to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, Spirit, how do they navigate for their best and highest good? Please use me as a clean and clear vessel. Whoa. By which to not only interpret your messages, but to explain them as well. Spirit, please arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen to bring Gemini, the collective of Gemini spirit, the overall message that could be affecting their life. I feel you. I know you're ready. I'm going to shuffle just like two more times. I'll cut three times and I'll pull off the top. It's just how I do. You got to stop flipping though. If you don't stop flipping, I can't stop shuffling. So give me just one second. Just whether it well, <laughs> Gemini, they want to talk, they want to talk, they want me to stop shuffling, but I'm going to stop right there. Fine, I'll stop right there. All right, geez Louise, that was a little bit of an argument there, huh? Okay, let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Bottom of the deck, the sun. Yay! Yay! Happiness, success, vitality. 
boom, first card out. Ooh, Ten of Cups in reverse, breakup, broken home, broken marriage. Ten of Cups in reverse, Disharmo disharmonious situation, breakup, broken home, broken marriage, broken family broken hopes five of swords betrayal deception somebody trying to get away with something um win at all costs king of cups in reverse emotional emotional volatility it could be emotional manipulation to the eight of wands movement action change communication so perhaps out of some kind of communication there comes some 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 pretty much bulldozer type stuff right there right the tower, right? Out of communication comes a tower, and this is how it how it folds out. Oh, interesting. Let's just keep going. Queen of Swords in reverse. Somebody is super pissed off. What is going on, Gemini? <laughs> what is this about? Somebody is super pissed off. Two of Cups in reverse. Breakup. An imbalance. Ace of Cups in reverse. Hurt feelings flying everywhere. Nine of Swords, despair and anxiety. The Alchemist in reverse. This is either, yeah, an inability to manifest. To the Ten of Swords, death, pain, sorrow. Two of Pentacles in reverse, complete and utter disorganization. The Chariot in reverse, possibly because of a blockage, but there's definitely a blockage. Seven of Pentacles. If you keep doing what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always gotten. To the hangman, think about this. Temperance in reverse. Something is broken that needs to be balanced. Something is imbalanced. Eight of swords in reverse. A new protect, per perspective. The emperor in reverse. Uh, maybe ditching somebody. Maybe something. We'll see. To the queen of pentacles, possibly you. The eight of cups, uh, abandonment, disappointment. Eight of pentacles in reverse, cease and desist. The world, the end of one cycle, the beginning of a new cycle. Let's see, the ten of pentacles in reverse, judgment. Nine of cups in reverse, five of pentacles, wow, death. Wow, look at this, princess of pentacles, new manifestation, empress, and the two of wands, wow, and the ace of wands, holy schmoly, the king of wands, prince of wands, two of swords in reverse, coming out of ambiguity, okay, coming out of confusion to the six of swords, that seems very important to the princess of wands, all talk, no action, the queen of wands, the king of swords, all right, we're stopping with him. Look at all these cards, Gemini. Wow. And sometimes these cards just get repetitive. Sometimes they're their own narrative to the story, but sometimes it's just a repeat and it gets boring. So we'll see about these when we get there, okay? All right. Let's clarify with the old classic Rider Waite. Look at that. Justice on the bottom of the deck. All right. What's happening here, Gemini? Holy schmoly, something huge is happening. That's for damn sure. How many majors do we have on the board here? Let's see. Minor, 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 minor. First major is the tower. Minor, 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 minor. Second major, the alchemist in reverse, right underneath the tower. Minor, 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 the chariot in reverse, major arcana. The hangman, major arcana. Okay. So on the board... We have one, two, three, four, four. Okay. All right. Let's do this. So the Ten of Cups in reverse. What is this about? Okay. Got it. Five of Swords. So there's some kind of disharmony in your life because of some foolery. Some kind of foolery. The Emperor in reverse to the King of Wands. To the Ten of Wands in reverse. Um, okay, that's this person. Controlling. Big burden. I don't understand it yet, but I'm sure I will as we move on. So the King of Cups in reverse, right? Emotional volatility. Hmm. Tell me what, tell me about this emotional volatility. Oh, that's the Emperor in reverse and the King. I got it. To the Eight of Wands. Um, movement, action, swift change to the tower okay what's the tower 
Watch the tower. S puts the brakes on something. Emotional dissatisfaction. Stuck to the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Money. Maybe this is a money reading right here. Hmm. All right. Now I'm sewing this together, right? I'm going to go back and read it as a fluid story, okay? All right. All right. All right. So the Queen of Swords in reverse. The Lovers in reverse and the Three of Wands. Two of Cups in reverse, Ace of Cups in reverse. So Queen of Swords being Pisces, uh, Pisces, <laughs> being Gemini. I was looking at the Two of Cups, right? So the Queen of Swords being Gemini and the in reverse and the Two of Cups in reverse and the Ace of Cups in reverse and the Nine of Swords is because of the Lovers in reverse, which is the same as that Ten of Pentacles right there. So there is some kind of very significant break and it doesn't necessarily have to be love but it is a significant relationship of some sort to the three of wands this is having some foresight um, long-term goals long-term goals foresight what else is this about what else is this about what else is this about it ended i think your 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 vision Lots of anxiety with the Nine of Swords and an inability to manifest with the Magician in Reverse. The Hermit and the Ten of Pentacles landing in Reverse. Um, withdrawn, isolated, disconnected. You know what? Um, I'm putting these right here on top of this Nine of Swords because that's what that energy is about. It's about you worrying about money of some sort. And then these came out too. Let's see. All talk, no action, undelivered promises, Two of Swords at a crossroads, Eight of Cups walking away. That's what all that's about. Mm -mm -mm. The Alchemist in reverse can't manifest. Is this manipulation? Or judgment in reverse. Yeah. Can't manifest. The, it, it, the decision against you. Not in your favor. Somehow, some way. Bad decision. Bad decision. That gives you fear of the unknown. Okay. Ten of Swords. Dang, man. I don't even want to post this reading. But it's good to know this kind of stuff because now you have foresight, right? And when you see this manifest in its own way that it touches your own life in your own journey, when you see this beginning to brew up, you can think back and go, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'd get your cards read, though, before you made any kind of decisions off of any of this or anybody else's general tarot card readings. But let's see what this is about. Ten of Swords. Painful endings. Painful endings. Two of Pentacles in reverse. This is disorganization. It's imbalance. And the Chariot. What's the Chariot in reverse about, please? What is the Chariot in reverse about, please? The Ace of Swords in Reverse. And the Five of Wands. Ace of Swords in Reverse and the Five of Wands. What are these? Eh, it says the same story, right? Five of Pentacles, Insecurity. Four of Cups, Contemplating. The King of Swords, you got to make a decision. Well, we know that because of judgment over here, right? A decision to the King of Cups in Reverse that's going to hurt your feelings or somebody's feelings. Wow. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, a lack of success or reward. So what did I ask that about? The chariot in reverse, right? Yeah, let me keep myself straight here. Okay. Um, the hanged man. The thinking chair. Okay, tell me about the hanged man. Temperance in reverse, the queen of swords. The Five of Swords, the Two of Swords in Reverse, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Nine of Swords. I'm not going to take that, though, because these came out. Those just kind of flipped around on the top a little bit, and I don't feel them, so I'm not going to take them. All right. Well, Jesus Christmas, Gemini. 
God, I'm going to title this reading the crappiest reading ever. What is happening here? Temperance in reverse and imbalance, healing that needs to happen, a new perspective, the emperor in reverse, the queen of pentacles, so that'd be you and them, the eight of cups, so cease, desist, and a new cycle, a brand new cycle, brand new cycle to the ten of pentacles in reverse, but you're losing, you're losing, you got to lose everything for some reason, or a lot, judgment, decision, okay, I'm going to clarify right here. Tell me, tell me what the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, tell me what the world is. What is this cycle? I'm going to get a fresh deck of cards. What is this cycle of the world? What cycle is closing and what cycle is beginning? King of Swords. Cycle. King of Swords and authority figure. King of Swords. I think this King of Swords belongs to Judgment. Spirit, tell me about the world. Tell me about the world. What is this cycle? What is this cycle? What is this cycle about? Queen of Wands in reverse. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Your needs not getting met and a lack of teamwork and collaboration. Okay. Okay. Okay, I think I can make sense of this. Okay. I'm feeling what's happening here. Um, let me ask one more thing. Spirit. Confusion. The Ace of Swords in reverse. Um, Spirit, what is the precursor to the Ten of Cups in reverse. What is the precursor to the Ten of Cups and the Six of Cups? Reuniting, reconciling, family, home, children, environment. Life as you knew it. Justice. Divorce. Divorce happened. Or some kind of legal separation yeah some kind of legal separation and now you're in your head and i don't know you guys can't see those some kind of legal separation and now y'all are in your head with the eight of swords like what the fuck do i do now to the high priestess and spirit says lean on me and i will show you Justice is major arcana. Justice is always in your best decision. It's always in your best interest. Justice is, right? Six of Cups, family, home, nostalgia, memories. Eight of Swords in your head, thinking about everything that's happening right here. And the High Priestess. Okay. 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 All right. So like I said, okay, so we got the six of cups, right? This is family, home, nostalgia, memories. This is uh, what the, 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 the foundation of all of this is about. To justice. This is either getting vindication or getting some kind of justice in a situation, or this is um, spirit saying justice is coming to this situation. This is in your best interest. Whatever this is, whatever's unfolding here is in your best interest. The Eight of Swords says that you're in your head thinking very, very panicky how to change something and the high, or what you do now, right? And the High Priestess comes on top of it and talks about um, sitting down with your higher power and really being led by your intuition and your subconscious mind, right? Really being it's it's almost like it's at the last your last just your last your last grip on things right you just give it all up and you're like what what do i do what do i do ten of cups in reverse broken home broken family a breakup a lack of harmony to the five of swords betrayal deception somebody trying to get away with something somebody trying to cheat you out of something somehow some way ulterior motives causes a lot of emotional volatility perhaps emotional manipulation perhaps this five of swords 
is mono, uh, emotional manipulation inside of the King of Cups in reverse, right? But either way, it's the same. It's the same energy, right? Somebody is not being forthcoming about something. They're hiding something. Um, they're out to get you somehow, some way. The Emperor in reverse. This is y'all can't see those, can you? Damn it! Hold on. Let me fix these so you guys can see. I'm sorry. The Emperor in Reverse. Um, this is a card about someone um, that is so out of control that they have to be super controlling. This is also a card about somebody who used to hold title but doesn't anymore. And I think that is what this is about. This Emperor used to be possibly you. And talking about the control, the authority, the establishment that you have over your life. And now in reverse, you just feel utterly out of control. I think that's what this is. You just feel utterly out of control. You used to have it down, but you don't now. And you just don't know what to do. And, and perhaps you're trying to over control a situation because you feel out of control. The eight, oh, hold on. The King of Wands, right? This represents, I do believe you, Gemini, um, trying to keep it together, um, looking out for success, um, trying to figure out what your next move is going to be, where you're going to go, what you're going to do. The King of Wands is all about achievement and success. And you're so out of control, but there's movement and change in the situation. And you are handling this Eight of Wands as the King of Wands, right? Um, you're not, you're not freaking out like the emperor in reverse and you're coming to your senses and you're handling some kind of change that comes from some kind of communication that creates a tower moment. You're handling it like a boss with the king of wands, the 10 of wands in reverse. This is a card about, um, this is a card about, uh, an overwhelming burden, dropping a burden, the Hierophant in reverse. Revaluation of your belief system. Commitment being broken. Yeah, somebody, somebody I do believe broke a commitment with you. The Hermit doing some soul searching and some introspection. This is definitely about some kind of very painful breakup in a situation um, that brings a lot of disharmony to your environment, whether that's your office, your home, um, your car, <laughs> whatever it is for you, right? I mean, shit, maybe you got in a car accident, right? Maybe you work out of your car, you know, mobile, doing mobile stuff, and you got in a car accident, and um, now you're just fucked, right? It just depends on what your situation is. Perhaps this is a love relationship. There's a divorce. There, there's definitely some kind of legal stuff stuff going on here in the background somehow some way um but maybe this is a divorce maybe this is a um family dispute right there's lots of family here maybe there's a family dispute maybe so you feel like somebody's trying to screw you over in your family but there's communication that comes in with the eight of wands that um is directly responsible for this. That Hierophant in reverse, the Hierophant in reverse right there is asking you to, whatever this is, change the way that you believed from a very deep place, the Hermit card. Um, the Hierophant in reverse is you having a change so deep in your soul of what you believed something was um, and it's not. And you get kicked in the teeth and then you sit up like the King of Wands, and now you're handling business. The Eight of Wands, the movement, action, change to the King of Cups and the Tower, the Devil. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, somebody that you loved did you wrong, Gemini. Somebody that you loved did you wrong. Wow. Wow. Caused a Tower moment. Chariot in reverse caused a tower moment, caused things to come to a screeching halt. Add on there the three of swords, some grief, some, some sorrow, some pain in the mental. 
not in the gut, in the mental, to the wheel of fortune, turning point, changed everything, changed everything. You had or you were engaging in um, the building of some kind of family unit, some kind of important relationship in your or relationships in your life. Somebody done something stupid and flushed it all down the toilet. That's what's happening here flushed it all down the toilet. Somebody that you loved deeply did you way wrong with the devil, way wrong. Brought the screeching halt breaks to everything, caused a lot of grief and turmoil in the mind and changed everything. Hold on, that's my daughter calling. And changed everything. The wheel is a turning point, right? It changed everything to judgment and forced you to, to make a very serious decision or this judgment is going back to justice. And this is the legal system right here, right? Um, but either way, there's a decision that is being made that causes a huge bunch of trouble. Just a huge bunch of trouble, a tower. I mean, like literal upheaval and chaos. The queen of swords in reverse. I mean, this is you being so pissed off, you can't even see straight. I mean, the queen of swords in reverse is furious about this situation. Two of cups in reverse, right? A breakup. Ace of cups in reverse. All kinds of tears, all kinds of hurt feelings. The lovers in reverse, a misalignment of values, a breakup. You have the three, four breakup cards that there are in the tarot. The ten of cups in reverse, the ace of cups in reverse, the two of cups in reverse, and the lovers in reverse. I mean, those are like all the breakup cards to the three of wands. Because you have some foresight. Once you saw what was going on here, you had some foresight that, uh, -uh this ain't going into my future. Mm -mm. This should stop and it's stopping right here. It's stopping right now. Or somebody did this to you and now you're in the three of swords trying to have some foresight about what the future holds. Okay. Nine of swords, anxiety, despair, up at night, rubbing your forehead, doing soul searching and introspection in the hermit energy, contemplating money, foundation, structure, stability, page of swords in reverse, punk ass bullshit, all talk, all, all talk, no action, undelivered promises. Two of swords has put you at a crossroads and now you're in the eight of cups in reverse. This is hopelessness and walking away. They gave you no choice but to walk away with this five of swords, this bad behavior here. They gave you no choice but to walk away. Could be vice versa. It's a general reading. I have no, no clue who I'm reading for here, right? The alchemist in reverse, an inability to manifest. Boom. I also want to point out that sometimes this is about... Um, manipulation. And we do have the King of Cups in reverse right there, manipulation. So perhaps somehow, some way, there's some kind of manipulation swirling around up in here. Okay. But this is an inability to manifest. The Chariot in reverse, again, screeching halt, breaks. Nine of Cups in reverse, emotional dissatisfaction, emotional greediness. The Knight of Pentacles in reverse, stuck can't move on, just like the chariot in reverse, breaks, ace of pentacles in reverse, lost opportunity, not worth investing in, judgment in reverse, a bad decision, to the two of wands. Now I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. Ten of swords, painful endings, painful endings, two of pentacles in reverse, um, disorganization, the chariot in reverse. Again, it's the third time we have had the chariot in reverse. Brought things to a screeching halt. Seven of pentacles in reverse. Lack of success or reward. I can't go on like this. This is crazy. Ace of swords in reverse. Dishonesty. Five of wands. Conflict usually rooted in some kind of competition. 
the five of pentacles left out in the cold, the four of cups left out on in the, out in the cold, thinking about what the fuck just happened to the four of cups contemplating the king of swords what is the decision that you're going to make king of cups in reverse you're going to cut the love off of this situation going to cut it off the hangman pausing processing surrendering temperance in reverse this is an imbalance a misalignment to the queen of swords this is the decision of judgment up here this is this decision, right? That's this decision. Making a decision with the King of Swords and the Four of Cups to cut this off. Here you are over here thinking it through, right? Temperance in reverse, an imbalance. Queen of Swords, I'm going to fix that imbalance. The Five of Swords, that's the imbalance, right? The, the betrayal, the deception, the deceit. Um, look, it almost looks, can you guys see that? Look, it looks like... Um, like like she's on her throne and they're coming to her anyway. It just looked really embarrassing to me for a minute there um, um, for this guy. So there's you as the queen of swords, Gemini, getting ready to execute um, a, a decision about the fuckery that has been going on that has caused all of the disorganization. Temperance in reverse, right? Fixing to right that wrong is what you're fixing to do. Eight of Swords in reverse. Um, this is about having a new perspective. Emperor in reverse. Same Emperor in reverse as up there. A new perspective about your life. The Queen of Pentacles. You're gaining control. You're gaining control of yourself. You're becoming grounded. And um, you are creating um, foundation for yourself right here in this Queen of Pentacles. Because you've decided, right, new perspective, eight of swords, to not be out of control of your life with the emperor in reverse. You're taking control with the queen of pentacles, eight of cups. You are um, abandoning ship, distancing yourself. You're like, you can have it all. I don't want any of it. I'm just leaving. Um, I just got to go. Eight of cups. You're, you are abandoning the situation. Eight of pentacles in reverse. Cease and desist. To the world card, closing this cycle out of your life and moving forward, moving forward. Why? Queen of Wands in reverse. Um, my needs can't be met. My needs aren't being met. To the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Possibly too many people in this relationship, um, but definitely no teamwork and collaboration. If you ain't on, if you ain't with me, you're against me, right? Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Have it, keep it, take it. I don't care. I'm making the decision with judgment, judgment, same decision with the King of Swords back here. And I am cutting you out, cutting you out, cutting you off, which it could be why the justice system is here. Maybe there has been a divorce. These were those extra cards that we pulled. Let's see if they repeat. So emotional dissatisfaction left out in the cold and ending princess of pentacles manifesting a new beginning to the empress this is you right this is you back over here my needs aren't being met bro and i need to close this cycle of my life out sis so manifesting your power as the empress because you're the emperor over here right emperor in reverse and now you're manifesting as the empress upright getting control of yourself Two of Wands, looking into the future. Ace of Wands, inspired, passionate, new beginnings. The King of Wands to the Prince of Wands to the Two of Swords, the Six of Swords, the Princess of Wands, the Princess of Swords in reverse, the Queen of Wands, and the King of Swords. So what is this little side story saying right here? Well, well, here's what this little story is saying. First and foremost, this situation for you is, is transformative with the death card. Emotional dissatisfaction, left out in the cold, leaving it out in the cold, 
putting an end to it with the death card, but the death card is also about transformation. So this whole thing that happened here did not happen for no reason, okay? It might have hurt, it might be painful, it might not be what you want, but it's not all for naught, okay? There is purpose behind this transformative event, situation, circumstance in your life. There is purpose in this. It's going to push you to manifest as the Empress. Mm -hmm. so you're taking control of your life over here as the Queen of Pentacles, right? And through this, you manifest into the Empress. You upgrade from the Queen of Pentacles to the Empress. And now you're the boss and you are in control and you are sitting on top and you came through this. Not only did you come through this, but you came through this with shining colors. Somebody tried to fuck you over and you came out on top, Gemini. You come out on top. If this hasn't happened for you yet, you come out on top. You come out on top. The Two of Wands looking into the future. Ace of Wands, excited about manifesting a passionate new beginning. King of Wands. Um, you know, at first I thought this was somebody else coming into the picture, but there's no place for this King of Wands to be. Unless this King of Wands right here is this King of Wands. Okay. All right. All right. So this King of Wands in reverse back here on top of the Emperor in reverse. This King of Wands is the culprit, right? This is the problem. This King of Wands is the Five of Swords. They did the Five of Swords, right? And then that's where all of this comes from, okay? The, and and uh, you did handle it like a boss, right? Because back in the beginning, I said that was you handling it like a boss, Period. The King of Wands never really came into the story again. So this King of Wands is who did this to you, Gemini. This King of Wands did this to you or created this situation, or maybe you did it to them, right? But nevertheless, the King of Wands. So let's back up for just a second. So you manifest, right? You come through this horrific situation and you manifest a new beginning in your life as the Empress, well, the two of wands, right? Looking into the future. You're looking out this way. You're the empress and you're looking this way, right? And guess who's over here? Well, an inspired, passionate new beginning with guess who? The king of wands, right? This same guy who was the root cause of all of this, okay? So this king of wands wants to start a passionate, inspired new beginning with you, Gemini, after you come through this horrific situation um, and, and heal and grow and get back on top again, showing up as the empress. And of course, this guy energetically has got to butt into the whole thing, right? He can smell from a mile away that you're doing good and he's going to come on back again, right? Prince of Wands taking some inspired action towards you, wanting a nice piece of that Gemini. To the Two of Swords in reverse, um, this is you coming out of the crossroads. Uh, hold on. Yeah, this is you coming out of the crossroads, Gemini. Um, so you got this King of Wands coming back at you. You're all on top now. You're all better. You're all healed. This King of Wands who caused this whole thing in the first place is coming back at you, right? He's coming in as the Prince of Wands, right? Not only is he the King of Wands, but he's the Prince of Wands. So he's flying in and uh, trying to put his best A game um, on, and he's trying to uh, get you to engage, Okay, there's two cards of like straight up sex right here. Okay, the Ace of Wands and the Prince of Wands. So he might be coming back, like I said, to get him a piece of that Gemini, right? Hit that Gemini again. To the Two of Swords in reverse. This is like, is like, it's, it's almost like you just can't believe it. It's like, I just, I, 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 I just 
can't even believe that you have the audacity to even come back here. It's my kid again. Hold on. To even come back here and talk this shit to me. I just, I cannot believe it. I just, I can't believe it. Guess what I see now? I see the Six of Swords. I see me getting the hell out of Dodge. I see the bullet that I dodged from all of this. Remember, I told you way back in the beginning that this was in your best interest. But I dodged this bullet right here. I dodged it. And for you to come back and try to hit me up again, you're out of your mind. Princess of Wands, exploration, discovery, excitement, enthusiasm. It goes right with the King of Wands, right with the Knight of Wands, right with the Ace of Wands. Okay? It's like, hey, hey. To the Princess of Swords in reverse. And all talk, no action. This is a punk. All talk, no action. Undelivered promises is the only thing this person ever got for you, ever gave you, Gemini. To the Queen of Wands and the King of Swords. Maybe even saying, uh, where's your, your girlfriend? Where is your, 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 your guy friend there that came and picked all your shit up from my house, Gemini? Where's that friend at, right? Uh, Gemini, <laughs> King of Wands. King of Wands, right? Let's put that same attitude back in there. Where's it? Where's your guy friend that uh, came and helped you get all your shit out the house? King of Wands. Where's Where's the other person now? Right? Why are you hitting me up? Go hit up those people you were hitting up a while ago. I'm not. I'm not interested. King of Swords throwing it down throwing it down. It stops here. It's over here. It shall go no further than right here. This relationship is over and I don't want you back and I don't want you in my life. And how dare you even think that you could come back and hit me up? I don't think so. I don't think so. So there you go, Gemini. That is for you guys. Um, you know, it, it, was it a great reading? Well, yeah, it's a good reading. It's my reading. But um, it was um, disturbing, right? Because nobody wants this to happen. But if this is happening for you, do know that it's going to make you stronger. You are going to survive it. And there is purpose. It is in your best interest that this happens. If this hasn't happened for you yet, do know that it may very well be in your best interest for this to happen. Now you know. Now you have the heads up. Um... Now you know how it ends. And if this has already happened for you, that King of Wands is coming back around. He's coming back around. He's going to try to hit you up. He's going to try to hit you up. And you have grown and changed. And you're going to look at that King of Wands and go, Psst. <laughs> I don't think so. Right? Right on, Jem. There you go. Namaste.